YCharts has thousands of stocks available on our platform. You can narrow down these stocks by using our stock screener here, where you will have the ability to pull in a saved screener or access one of our many templates, or you can start from scratch like I'll do in this video today. I can start here by narrowing down my search by filtering by specific criteria. So if I select modify here, I'm able to narrow down by different categories, including the exchange that the stock trades on, different uh, performance metrics, and I can even import one of my lists that I've built out in a different tool on YCharts. So this could be something like your model portfolio holdings or even a watch list. I'm going to start by narrowing down to only view securities that are on the S&P 500. So I'm going to select indices here. And then if I scroll, I'll be able to select S&P 500. Now I have a few options here since I'm wanting to narrow down to only show stocks that belong in the S&P 500. I'm going to select intersect up here. We have an exclude option, which will show all stocks except for those that are in the S&P 500. And then we also have an add option, which this I would use if I wanted to maybe show stocks that were in the S&P 500 and then also add in stocks that were also on the Russell 3000, for example. So for this, I'm just going to narrow to show only S&P 500 stocks. I'm going to click submit here. And as you can see, it has narrowed it down quite a bit. I can also now go in and add some metric filters. So if I click add filter here, I have a few different options. I can choose to create a filter based on a range of numbers. I can choose to create an equation for my filter. I can choose percentiles, and then I can also uh, create a rank for a filter. For dividend yield, I'm just going to select equation here, and I'm going to type in my metric, and then I'm going to want to see dividend yields that are greater than say 1%. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to click submit. And as you can see, it has narrowed down our securities even more. I'm also going to add another metric filter. This time I'm going to look at percentile and I'm going to look at the year to date returns. And then I'm going to choose the top, we'll say, 25% of these remaining securities here that have the highest year-to-date total return. So I'm going to select submit again, and it's narrowed our options down even further. If I look at this list, you'll see that I have a few different options that I can add into this table, including metric columns. So if I select this, it won't filter my screener down anymore, but it will just show me another metric. So I'm going to select metric columns and then I'm just going to select price by searching it in the search bar up top, then select submit. And this is going to give me the price of each security. I can also add an info column. And for this, I want to look at the Y rating of each company to see if it's a stock worth investing in or not. So if I select this and click submit, you'll also see that it's going to import the Y rating for every single one of those securities. Now that I have my list, what I can do next is I can go ahead and save it as a watch list so then I'm able to import it onto one of my dashboards. Or if I scroll up, I can save it up here by selecting Save As, giving it a name. And then once I have it saved here, I'm able to pull it into other tools such as our comp tables 
or maybe our scatter plot, and I'm able to do further analysis there. If you have any questions, please reach out to your designated account manager.